Good day, my name is Richard and a warm welcome to Tutoring with Richard, where we cover the South African school syllabus and native topics. If you find these videos helpful, please consider supporting me on PayPal, Patreon or buy me a coffee. Links in the description box below. Today we're going to cover Strength of Materials N6. The topic of this tutorial is question number 2 of the DP examination written on the 25th of May 2023. The formulas used are included in the video. The question is also posted in the description box below. We have been asked to issue a cautionary note. Some of the formulas used in these videos, which are taken from DP examinations and past papers, do not appear in most textbooks or the formula sheet attached to your exam. You will need to know them in order to do some of the sums. They appear in the beginning and end screens. Let's get straight into it. Our question states, a steel core aluminium conductor with a length of 150 meters. So, our length, our length total is 150 meters. It has a weight of 16 newtons per meter. Weight equals 16 newtons per meter and is supported between two supports. The turning point of the cable is 62 meters from the shortest support. So, length 1 is 62 meters. And I'll do length 2 as well. Length 2 is 88 meters. Now, the total cross-sectional area of the cable is 500 millimeters squared. So the area of the whole cable, so the area total is 5 100 millimeters squared. The area of the steel core is 50, so area steel is 50 millimeters squared. The maximum allowable stress in the steel and aluminium, so stress steel and stress aluminium. The steel for stress is 42 mega pascals and 14 mega pascals respectively. Now they want the maximum tension allowed in the cable. So the first thing to do is we use this and the areas. So, the area for aluminium is 450 millimeters squared. You see what we've done here is broken it down. The total area is 500, the area for steel is 50, so the area for aluminium must be 450. Okay, so how are we going to do this? If total was area of steel, stress of steel times area of steel plus stress of aluminium times area of aluminium. So how this is going to work is stress is equal to 42 times area which is 50 Plus, the stress of that is 14 times 450. And this equals, and this equals 8400 newtons. 
and that is if t. So if t will be valuable in the next sum. If t is 8, 4, double zero, Newton. So what we need to do now is next question, the difference in the height between the two supports. Well, first thing we're going to work out is y2. Because y2 comes in contact with yo. And yo is what we'll need. So y2, y2 equals f t over w. So y2 equals. So f t is 8, 4, double zero over 60. And that equals y2 equals 140 meters. Right. Now we can work out yo because we have L2 and we have Y2 now. So we work out YO equals square root Y2 squared minus L2 squared. And L2, just like I've written here, is 88. Because what I've done is taken 150 minus 62, which is 88, which comes out to 88. So, this equals the root of 140 squared minus 88 squared. And this is 108,885 meters. Okay. Y O one zero eight comma eight eight five meters. Okay. Now what we're going to do is work out Y one. Y one equals the root of y o squared plus l one squared. So this will equal y o, which is equal to the root of one o eight comma eight eight five squared plus sixty two squared, and that will equal one two five comma three meters. One, 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 two, five, comma, three meters. Now, what we're doing? Now we've worked out Y1 and Y2. So all we have to do is minus Y2, take Y2 and minus Y1. And that'll give us our H equals Y2 minus Y1. So what that means is that we will take 140 minus 125 comma 3, which gives us 14 comma 7 meters. Okay, H might be important later. Right. Next question. This is two comma three. Two comma three. They want the horizontal distance of the highest support from the turning point. So the formula is x to the x two equals y o lim bracket
y2 plus l2 over y0. Okay, so now what we're going to do is x2 equals y0, which is 1 over 8,885 lin. Y2, 1 One forty plus L two is eighty eight over one of eight comma eight eight five. Now that equals eighty comma. Seven two meters. So X two equals eighteen comma four seven two. Now we want to find, now the question that we're going to follow next is 2,4. And that states that once the calculate the horizontal distance from the longest support to where the tension is 7,800 newtons. So, Y3 equals... 7,800 over 60 and that equals 130 meters so y3 130 meters that's also meters so what we want now is L3. So we've got Y and Y3, now we need L3. So L3 equals Y3 minus the root of Y3 squared minus L3 minus YO. YO. minus y o squared so this will equal l3 equals the root of 130 squared minus 108,885 squared and l3 is 71 comma 0211 meters. L3 71,0211 meters. Okay, next part is they want x3. So x3 equals yo lin y3 plus L3 over YO. So, YO, 108,885 lin times Y3, which is 113 plus 71,021. All over one o eight comma eight eight three eight eight five sorry eight eight five and that comes to x three this is from the turning point so this is sixty six comma seven five. 
five nine meters. So now what we have now we've got x three. So now we just need to work out x equals x two minus x three. So x two we've worked that out as eighty comma four seven two minus sixty six comma seven five nine so x equals x which equals thirteen comma seven one three meters and that is our final answer If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a like and subscribe. It really helps with the algorithm and to grow the channel. Positive feedback is most welcome. I enjoy reading your comments. Please use the comments section to let me know what topics you would like me to cover in upcoming videos. Be at peace, be kind to each other, and remember, passing well is achievable. Have a great day. Looking forward to seeing you in the next video.